Praise the name of the Lord. Once again, I take this opportunity to welcome all of us to one hour with God. Today is the 22nd of April, the year of the Lord 2021. We were together on 7th of April, the year of the Lord 2021, when we were talking about prayers. And today we are going to share together and to see in the Bible three examples of the prayers that were made and God did answer the said prayers. Kindly let us pray together. Dear Heavenly Father, we are grateful that you have given us an opportunity to come to your sanctuary to have a moment of sitting down under your table. It is my prayer that you are going to speak to us through your word, to encourage us through your word, and more importantly, as we remind ourselves and we read in your scriptures the three examples that we are going to go through today, may these examples help each and every one of us that we may be able to have faith and confidence and to believe that we are a God who is able to answer prayers because indeed you answer the prayers of the saved who, who, which are recorded in your word. Walk together with us as we begin, even as we come to the end, may your name continue to be glorified. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Once again, our viewers, we welcome you to our one hour with God. That is every Wednesday between 5.30 and 6.30. I was together with you on the 7th of April 2021 talking about prayer. We mentioned that prayer is talking together with God. We did mention five things that day. Number one, that prayer is an act. Number two, that we should mention the things that we require from the Lord. Number three, we should pray continually. Number four, sometimes we need to make our prayers private, not only the time that we are in the church. And finally, number five, we did mention that we must continue in our prayers. Today, we are going to see three practical examples in the Bible of the prayers that were answered by God. We are going to see three examples in the Bible of the prayers that God did answer. Three examples in the Bible. Brethren, we will review three biblical examples of people who prayed and received answers to their prayers. And some lessons that we can learn from them according to their situations and circumstances that were surrounding them. And the three examples that we are going to learn today, one, we are going to learn an example of Ezekiah. Number two, the church. And number three, Joshua. Ezekiah, the church, and Joshua. So we go to number one, Hezekiah. Second Kings, chapter number 20, verse number one, down to verse number six. Hezekiah, 2 Kings, chapter number 20, verse number 1, down to verse number 6. Hezekiah was sick to the point of death. But he called boldly to God to remember of his past deeds. That shows he walked uprightly before God. Hezekiah was sick to the point of death. And God sent a prophet to him to remind him that the sickness that you are suffering, you are not going to heal, but you are going to die. But immediately Ezekiah had that prophecy. The Bible reminds us that he turned his face to the wall and he reminded God how he has walked faithfully before him. Our viewers, 
in the case a prophet has come to you and to mention to you that possibly whatever you are going through you are not going to be healed but possibly you are going to pass on is there anything my brother and my sister that you can remind you are God the same way that Ezekiah did some of the lessons that we can learn in the story of Ezekiah number one serve God while you have the opportunity and be faithful to him brothers and sisters serve God wholeheartedly when you have the opportunity to do so because opportunities has wings and sometimes they might fly away from us use the opportunity that God has given to you and continue to be faithful before you are maker and you are creator Hezekiah was faithful to the point of death but he reminded his maker how he has walked faithfully before him likewise to us Hezekiah utilized the opportunity that he was given by God and likewise to you and I we need to utilize the opportunity that God has given to us number two he reminded God of his faithfulness and even in time of trouble and he did ask help from God Many times we go through challenges. But before we go before our Mecca in the prayers, we mention the same the challenges first and foremost to our friends and possibly to the people who are nearer to us. And more importantly, to those who can listen to us. But how many times have you reminded God, you see the opportunity, that time that God has given to you, how many times have you reminded God that God I have walked faithfully before you and I have served you faithfully number three prayer for the impossible prayer for the impossibility and expect God to answer those prayers to change the impossibilities to possibilities nothing is too hard before God nothing is too hard before him Nothing is too hard before our Creator and our Maker. All things are possible. And that is the reason why Ezekiah utilized his time well. And God did answer the prayer of Ezekiah. May God help us, all our viewers and our listeners, that amongst ourselves, we may have some Ezekiahs amongst us. People who are working faithfully, people who are serving God faithfully in season and out of season, people who are utilizing their time and their opportunity well, the same way that Ezekiah did. The second example that we can learn in the Bible is the church. When Peter was in prison in Acts of the Apostles, chapter number 12, verse number 1, down to verse number 17. Acts of the Apostles, chapter number 12, verse number 1, down to verse number 17. It is the story of an account of how King Herod arrested Peter and put him in prison to please the Jews. He had previously ordered the killing of James. And since it pleased the Jews, he proceeded to take Peter. They continued over prayers to God by the church. And their prayers reached out to God. And God did send an angel to miraculously rescue Peter from prison where he was bound in chains between two soldiers brothers and sisters it was a hectic time for peter but the church stood in faith 
and believing that God is able to change the possibilities, impossibilities into possibilities. The church prayed together in one accord and God was able to hear their prayers. And Peter was released. What are some of the examples we can learn from the story of Peter? Number one, let us pray without ceasing. Our today's church, our 21st century church, let us pray without ceasing. Number two, desperate situations requires desperate actions don't be too lazy to observe prayer vigil in our own communities where we are coming from in our own homes and our houses brethren we can keep on praying and interceding for ourselves and for others and our god is able to hear our prayers. Number three, when you pray, be expectant. Be expectant. Expect the miracle. Believe that your God is able. Believe that your Creator is able. Believe that God will make a way out where it seems to be there is no way. You have heard so many voices from various corners where you come from. And there is a possibility many of them are discouraging voices. May you hear the voice of the Lord that our God is able to hear our prayers and to answer the same prayers. Peter was saved by God because of the prayers of the church. And likewise, to you and I, we can pray even right now concerning the coronavirus that have become a big challenge in our society during our time. And our God is able to heal us, to free us from coronavirus and many other challenges like cancer and many other diseases and challenges. Number three is Joshua. Joshua chapter number 10, verse number 11 to verse number 14. Joshua is our third and our last example of the prayers that were answered by God. In the book of Joshua chapter number 10, verse number 11 down to verse number 14. When the five kings of the Amorites decided to attack Gibeon for forming an alliance with the children of Israel, they cried to Joshua for help. In the heart of the battle, Joshua did a new thing by commanding the sun and moon to stand still. God answered Joshua's prayers on the spot. Brethren, we are serving a miraculous God. Joshua was in the middle of a challenge. A challenge that was not very easy for him. But the children of Israel had hope and faith in him. And when they went to him, Joshua believed in God and he prayed so that God may be able to deliver the Israelites. And brothers and sisters, God did answer the prayer of Joshua in the spot. So our God is able to answer your prayers there and there. He may decide to keep time, to keep quiet for a time. And he may decide to answer your prayers in a later date. But for Joshua, it was there and there in the spot. God did deliver the children of Israelites. What are some of the lessons that we can learn in the story of Joshua? Number one. God is reliable and will answer our prayers whenever we call on him. Our God is a reliable God. Human beings are not reliable. Men and women are not reliable. But brethren, 
we have a God who is reliable. A God who can hearken under your voice. It doesn't matter how long you have prayed, how many years, how many days, how many weeks, how many months, but we are serving a God who is able to answer our prayers. Why? Because he is a reliable God. Number two, when we pray, we need to believe that God will answer us. Even during this time when our places of worship are closed, let us believe God that a time will come when the places of worship will be open. Let us have faith, brethren, that our God is able. It doesn't matter how long. It might take some weeks or a month. But we have faith and confidence that the places of worship will be open. Have faith in him. Believe in him that God is able. Our direct number to God is taken from the book of Psalms, chapter number 50 and verse number 50. That is our emergency number whenever we call upon the Lord. Psalms, chapter number 50 and verse number 15. Call to me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you and you shall glorify me. Our viewers, call to me in your day of trouble. And I am going to deliver you, says the Lord. What is troubling you tonight? Our God is able to deliver you. Are you going through troubles of, of life? We have a God who is a deliverer. And that God is able to deliver you from that situation that you are in. Are you living in fear because of the challenge, challenges that we are facing? Call upon your maker and your God, and God will hear you, and he will deliver you. Are you sick and you have run from one hospital to another? You have run from one of, man of God to another as you look for prayers. May you call upon God, who is able to hear you during your very time of trouble. He will hear your prayers and that God will answer your prayers. Is your business in turmoil? Call upon the Lord. Are you going through challenges in your place of work? Call upon the name of the Lord and God will deliver you. As I come to the conclusion, our viewers and our listeners, our God answers prayers when we pray in faith and we believe in him he will hear us the same way that he did to Ezekiah the same way that he did to the church the early church when they were praying for Peter the same way that he answered the prayer of Joshua there and there therefore let us put our faith, our confidence in him and let us continue to believe that our God is able to answer our prayers. As a nation of Kenya, we are going through so many challenges, one after another. But brethren, we have a God who is able to hear our prayers. If you love your nation, pray for your nation. If you love your president, pray for him and his administration. If you love your church, pray for your church. Pray for the administration of your church. If you love your family, pray for your family, your husband, your wife, your children, and others. Brethren, our God is a reliable and therefore, he will hear us. Wherever that you are listening to us, wherever that you are watching to us, our God is a reliable God. In him, let us put our hope in him. Let us believe in him wholeheartedly. And let us know that he is a God who answers 
It doesn't matter how long I have prayed or you have prayed. How many days or weeks or months or years. But we have a God who is a reliable God. He will hearken and our voices. He will hear our prayers. And he will answer our prayers. We want to wish you well. We want to wish you God's blessings and protection. Even as we continue to thank him. As we continue to pray for ourselves. As well as we pray to others. Who are near us and those who are not near us. Those who are going through challenges of life. Those who are in the hospitals. They are sick. Those who are bedridden. And for the challenges that we are facing as humanity. Who are living on the 21st century. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord walk together with you. And may the Lord continue to hearken under your voice. To hear your prayers. And to answer your prayers. Shall we pray? Our loving Father. We are thankful. Because of your love. And your care. You have reminded us. And you have shown us through your word. The three examples. Of Hezekiah, the early church in the book of Acts of the Apostles, and even Joshua himself in the Old Testament, that they did ask from you and Jehovah God, you heard their prayers and you did answer the said prayers. Today we are gathering before you, and all our viewers are bowing down our heads before you. Believing and trusting that we are going to hearken under our voices. That Lord, you are going to hear us. That Lord, you are going to set us free. That Lord, you are going to deliver us. That Lord, you are going to save us. That Lord, you are going to heal us. That Lord, you are going to uplift us once more. And it is our prayer that we are going to hearken under our voices. And we are going to hear our prayers. And we are going to answer the said prayers. So we commit and we dedicate our lives to you. May you continue to walk together with us. And to direct every single of our steps. According to your will and your will alone. May you bless our viewers wherever they are. May you bless our listeners. And may you bless all of us. So that in due time to come. We may continue to glorify your name. And to testify your goodness in the land of the living. And this is our prayer of faith. In Jesus' name, we do pray and believe. Amen and amen. We wish you well. And may the Lord continue to bless you. We will meet again next month, the month of May, God willing. And we know the Lord will continue to be together with us. May the Lord bless you richly and thank you.